We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. Welcome to the top car. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. Welcome to the top Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called The Brand New Testament. Now, this is directed by Jaco Van Dormel. This is a French film. And he also uh, helped write the screenplay with Thomas Gunzig. Now, there's some names in here you're probably not familiar with, but I'm sure you're familiar with. Catherine Deneuve, Francois Damons, Yolanda Moray, and Benoit Bolivarito. Well, this story is about God. Yeah, right. Remember, this is the brand new testament. But anyway, this is about God. He, and he lives in Brussels. He has an apartment, a three bedroom apartment. And there, you know, he they show in this film how malicious he can be, how he can be uh, chauvinistic, how he can, uh, he wants revenge and things like that. And, you know, well, just think about it. That's why many people pray to a God, fear. But anyway, here, God lives with his submissive wife and he has a 10 year old daughter named Yeah. <laughs> Can you dig that? And uh, well, God sits in front of a computer and, you know, in the beginning of the film, it shows how, uh, you know, before God created man, he had the animals. Animals walking around the cities and things like that. They're boring. So God, you know, he got a little bored with them. He said, well, I'm create man. So he created man for his amusement. Then he created Eve and then Eve and Adam had kids. And then <laughs> later on, the kids start fighting in the name of God or for God. All these holy wars and things like that. Also, it also shows how God created the universal laws. I call them Murphy laws, but he called them uh, universal laws. For example, uh, in the movie, they show a good example. When you get in the bathtub, the phone rings. Yeah, that's a universal law. Things like that. Also, he... Uh, made disasters for humans so they can worship him more, love him more. You know, he, he did those things to humans. But his uh, daughter, Ia, well, you know, uh, she's uh, mad at her father because the father gets mad at her and beat her, things like that. And his son, they call him JC here in the, in the movie, JC. Well, he's there, but he's pretending to be a statue and they don't know where he's at. But anyway, Ia, she gets pissed off at her father. Yeah, and, you know, she doesn't like the way uh, her father treats her mom, how she treats him, and the humans. So one day she goes into his computer and she sends all the humans uh, the years they have left on Earth. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny right there. And then the humans got these texts, computer things, and things like that on how many years they got left or minutes or days they had left on the planet Earth. And also in this film, too, uh, Ia and God tells humans, uh, you know, once you die, that's, that's it. This is heaven. Make the best out of it. Well, they said, isn't there a heaven when I die? He said, no, you can't come to the apartment in Brussels. <laughs> I thought that was funny. But anyway, yeah, she gets pissed off. She runs away from her dad, but she consults her brother. And her brother tells her, well, you get yourself six more disciples, things like that, and you write a brand new testament. But she said, well, I'm kind of lazy. I don't like to write. He said, well, you do like I did. You get somebody to write it for you. You know, somebody say they're a witness, but just get somebody to write it for you. But do something different. Do something that I didn't do. How do people write about themselves? Not more about you, but about themselves. And, you know, and, and, and God talked about JC. Oh, he just improvised. He just created anything he wanted. He wanted to say anything he wanted. Oh, man, I, 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 that was a funny movie. 
Now, I will, the end is the most surprising uh, ending in this film and things that go on when Ia finally gets to Earth and things like that. I will admit, when I first started watching this, I said, man, this is different. This is fun. And it is. And that's why I'm admitting that. This is a fun movie to watch, and it's different. Some people might call it a satire. Might, some people might see it differently. But I had fun watching this film, The Brand New Testament. I'm giving this three palm trees out of four. I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. This is your end.